Jed, unbelievable scenes at the end there. Two crucial penalty saves from yourself. Just tell us what went through your mind on both occasions. Um, save it. You know, that's uh, sim simple as. Um, you know, we'd, we'd practice penalties, you know, leading up to it. And uh, yeah, over the last sort of week or so, I think I've probably faced 150 odd penalties. So, um, so no, it's, uh, God, what, what a feeling to, to save two and you know, also the boys have still got to stick it in the net and you know they held their nerve and, and finished it off so uh, so yeah great scenes and uh, yeah absolutely brilliant so what was your initial feeling when it went to penalties because obviously you spent most of the second half and extra time watching the boys try and break through at the other end but then uh, you were called upon well obviously during the extra time I had to stay switched on you know, recycle the ball and be on the front foot just in case you know on the count they're on the counter attack so but um, but no when it went to pens I was I was looking forward to it. Um, I'd never actually been in a penalty shootout before in my in my career, and um, yeah, I you know I uh, I just had a slight feeling that I might might save one, but to save save two was was great. Um, and uh, yeah, you know it's, it's been a good night. The two that you did save was that a result of specific homework that you've been doing with cuts over the last week? Um, it was a, it was a bit of everything. Um, I think everyone everyone these days does a little bit of homework. But you know, that, that only gets you so far. You know, we we studied, we studied you know other penalties as well, not just West Brom's. You know, I think obviously Newport, Newport Mansfield went to penalties you know, a couple of nights ago. So um, so yeah, we we sat down and had a look at those and you know, tried to look at different sort of body shapes and and stuff like that. So uh, so no, to you know, just, just I'm very th very thankful to him. Um, but to save save two was. But so I couldn't ask for any more, but I could maybe could have saved three. But, uh, but that was good. What did it feel like celebrating in front of those 2,000 fanatical fans at the end? Ah, oh, they're, you know, they're they're unbelievable. Yeah, you know, they're ev everywhere we go, every home game. You know, they they, they follow us. You know, and uh, you know, we, we 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 do it do it for them at the end of the day. Um, you know, to to have them singing along at the end and everyone bouncing up and down is you know is is a great sight. And you know, we want to we want to you know go one step further than we did last season at Wembley and make it a great day out for, for our supporters. Yeah, and your thoughts on Wembley, obviously not involved last year, but a Wembley final just 12 days away now. Yeah, oh God, you know, it's, uh, it's the home of English football. It's, you know, it's something you, you grow up as a, as a child you know, wanting to play there. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I get the nod. Um, and, yeah, we will pack it out again. And, as I say, hopefully this time you know, we, we will go one step further and, and gain promotion.